Well, good morning, and we've come to the end of another working week and preparing for a relaxing weekend. This week, I've shared with you uh, some truths concerning uh, some of our statements of faith at Waterfront. And uh, one of our statements declares that we believe in the sinless life, the atoning death, the triumphant resurrection, the ascension and abiding intercession of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with his ascension came his enthronement. With his ascension and glorification, Christ was exalted by the Father to sit on the throne with him. Think of the words of Psalm 110 and verse 1. Sit thou on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. You see, the New Testament emphasizes the exaltation of Christ because it fulfills the main offices of Old Testament time. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father, seated as prophet, seated as priest, and seated as king. And this morning I just want to share with you Jesus as prophet, priest, and king. As prophet, he came speaking to men on God's behalf. As prophet, he spoke the truth of God to a lying world, to a world of rebels and sinners. As prophet, he confirms the word of the gospel by signs and by wonders. As prophet, he spoke with authority and with anointing. Did he not declare when he uh, went to the synagogue in Nazareth in Luke's Gospel, chapter 4, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach, and so on. As prophet and word of God, he predicted events of future showing the church things that are to come. Yes, Jesus Christ, the word of God, the prophet, exalted and takes his places as prophet at the right hand of the Father. Then he is also seated as priest. You see, as priest, he speaks to God on behalf of men, whereas as prophet, he spoke to men on behalf of God. As priest, he was appointed and anointed by God. As priest, he makes sacrifice for sin, and he gave himself as uh, the sacrifice for sin. As priest, he makes intercession. He pleads on our behalf before the Father in heaven. As priest, he is faithful to God and yet merciful to his own people because he himself has been tempted in all points just like us and yet without sin. As priest, he is the mediator between God and man. Thank God this morning that I come to the Father through Christ. I don't need to go through any priest or pastor or preacher. I have direct access through the Son to the throne room of the Father. And I have a wonderful advocate in heaven. And as a great high priest... He directs the church, his priestly body here on earth in the ministry of reconciliation. Thank God that Jesus has been exalted, not only as prophet, but also as priest interceding for you and for 
for me. And then he is also seated at the right hand of God the Father as king. You see, as king, he is enthroned with the Father. As king, he exercises authority over all things in heaven and on earth. As king, all enemies are to be placed under his feet. And he will reign until the last enemy, death, has been destroyed. As king, he rules and reigns in righteousness, in peace and in joy. And all kings will be subject to his dominion. And as king this morning, he rules in his church, his body. And we declare this morning that we have no other king save Jesus. Yes, he has been exalted as prophet, priest and king. And it was John Newton in that great hymn of his when he says how sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ear. And then he goes on to say, Jesus, my shepherd, saviour, friend, my prophet, priest and king. And he is yours and mine this morning, prophet, priest and king. Hallelujah.